new section in our chat. Yes! Stay tuned and you'll see what this is all about. My name is Yara and welcome to Bees Are Funny. Yara! The idea of this new section is to share with you something else in the beekeeping world by reviewing any kind of bee or pollinator books that we can find in the market. My intention, or better said, the goal of this new section is to be objective. What I mean by this is that I'm not going to involve my personal opinions because one, I believe that I owe my respect to the author who took the time to write this book, and two, my opinions may be different than yours. So, we'll base all the information on what we have right in front of us. With that being said, let's get started. Contemporary Queen Rearing by Harry H. Layla Jr. Our first book review. Let's talk about the author. Dr. Layla was born in Houston in 1907 and passed away in 2003 at the age of 96. During his childhood, he developed an interest in bee breathing and with the help of his grandfather, who was an experienced beekeeper that taught him all the basics of beekeeping, Dr. Leza was able to develop, and what is now famous for, artificial insemination technology for honeybees. And thanks to that, Dr. Leza is now referred to as the father of bee genetics. This book was published in 1979 and contains exactly 200 pages that were divided into eight chapters. Dr. Laidlaw started off with the Queen as the first chapter. Here, it shows us a little bit of Queen Bee Anatomy and their role in the comic. Chapter 2 is Biological Basis of Rare Fully Determined and Fully Developed Virgin Queens. This chapter talks about grafting the Queen in the frame and taking care of her as a larvae, basically feeding her. Chapter 3 is producing Persian queens. Here it talks about either producing small amounts of queens, important if you're a hobby beekeeper into queen bearing, or even producing them in larger quantities. Chapter 4 is mating with the queen. This chapter starts to mention on how to provide appropriate mates for the queen and even starts giving us information on artificial insemination technology which as we all now know, Dr. Layla developed. Chapter 5 is Uses of Queens. Here we're starting to get more into the commercial aspect of queen bearing. What I mean by this, this chapter is about getting the queen ready to be shipped. So marking her, clipping her wings, and putting her in a cage. Chapter 6 digs a little deeper into commercial queen bearing, but the title is Package Bee Production. This chapter is mostly about mating and colony with a new queen mitt and producing bee packages and the tools you need to do so. Chapter 7 is Stock Maintenance and Improvements by Beekeepers. This chapter is mostly about keeping records. It even provides you with sheets called yard sheets, which help you record the breeds of queens you're making and how is she doing in the colony. And finally, Chapter 8, A Brief Mystery of Queen Rain. This chapter is basically a summary of the entire book, but Dr. Laidlaw included as part of this chapter notes from beekeepers even before his time. It also talks about how Queen Rearing became a commercial beekeeping activity. So, these are the chapters. Now, let's get into the book and talk about some of its features. So the first feature I want to talk about is how this book can come if you purchase it. The book comes in both hardcover and softcover, but in this case, my book is softcover. The next feature I want to mention are the book's pictures. Although they may seem black and white, you can see that they contain an astonishing amount 
the detail within them. And under each and every single picture, you'll find a brief description on what it is about. Okay, let's jump to the next feature, which I find important, and also I mentioned it earlier while reviewing the chapters. These are the yard sheets or record sheets. I will show you two examples of these tools. The first chart, which I consider the most important, but for some reason in the book, it is placed second, is the B reading program, in which here the reader can record the temper of the bee, some wax working, swarming, and even diseases. The second chart I want to mention is the mating chart. Here the most relevant data that a queen reader can record is basically the genetic information from both the virgin queen's mother and the drone's mother. The rest of this sheet is pretty much to take notes on some very important dates such as when the drones were born, grafting date, and when the queens were marked and clipped. Pretty great record keeping charts. Let's move on to the reference feature. The reference section is so complete that out of the 200 pages, this section is 5 pages long. Here Dr. Leila quotes some authors, their year, and where you can find this reference. And the last feature that I want to mention is the index. It is so rich that this seven page section contains a lot of the words and speaking terms used by the author throughout this book. All right, so this is the close look into this book. I personally really like it and I am happy to have it as part of my beekeeping library. Have any questions regarding the book or anything specific about it? Leave us a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Share this video with your friends and finally, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon too to keep you updated for new videos. And if you're interested in getting this book, I like the link down below when you can purchase it. And if you do that through this link, you will be supporting our channel and a big thanks for that. My name is Yara and this is Bees Are Fun. Bye for now.